Welcome course takers to section five, designing Pi Global. So in this section, we're gonna look at what we've built with Pi Simple, and then we're gonna do a set of analysis. And then we're gonna do some analysis on top of that to figure out what we need to change from a reliability perspective in order to make this a truly global, scalable and reliable application. So if you're ready, let's get started. So welcome to video number one, the architecture of Pi Global and failure mode analysis. So in this video, we're going to have a quick recap of what we built in the previous sections, our Pi Simple application. We're gonna look at what failure mode analysis is, and then we're gonna just perform a quick failure mode analysis on our application to figure out what's the next steps to making this application more reliable and more scalable. So if you're ready, let's get started. So here's our application. So if you remember what we were trying to do was simply move our application into Amazon with the minimal amount of changes, but make it more reliable. So we use some platform tools like CloudWatch for monitoring and then code commit, code build and ECR to actually host our artifacts and our source code and to turn one into the other. We then deployed a more reliable infrastructure with multiple subnets, uh, RDS, multi-AZ on the back end, ECS Fargate cluster in the middle, hosting our application with two replicas, and then a load balancer on the front end, giving uh, reliability to our application. So we built something that's pretty reliable. And we did all of that through automation. So the next question is, well, where do we go from here? You know, we need to make improvements. We want to make incremental changes. We want to optimize our application. We know that we need to turn into a global application. What are the things we need to address? Well, one technique that I've used is failure mode analysis. Failure mode analysis is nothing more than a risk assessment. So you start off here on the top with your function. So in this case, it's connectivity. Then we know it's a regional outage. We know that it'll be a total loss of severity, a total loss of service, which has got a high severity of four. Um, now, failure mode analysis came from the US military. It's been used in places like NASA as well. So Pi tends to mean, or a number five tends to mean loss of life in severity. So in IT, it's unlikely that you'll have a high severity, a number five. You might be working in healthcare. You might be doing some engineering around that, uh, which means you do. You might be working in a regulatory industry, which means you do. However, for this case, we're only starting at four. We look at what the potential failure causes are. So the last regional outage from Amazon was an operator error. Um, so that's what we've got there. Probability is quite low. Um, full regional outages don't happen that often. And all the major cloud providers have had them, but they are getting less and less. Now, in this example, we've got no design control. So we, we've got nothing that will allow us to monitor or detect or avoid this issue. So we have an effectiveness of five, which me, which is bad. So we have an overall risk priority number, which is the severity times the probability times the effectiveness of 40. So once we have our risk and we know we've given it a score, then we say, well, okay, what can we do to reduce that score? So in this case, we could deploy regional monitoring, which is what here, what does that mean? Who's going to do it when they're going to do it? We're not changing the severity. If it does happen, it will still be a four and it's the probability will be the same. So it's more or less likely to happen. What we can do is manage the effectiveness. So this reduces our risk priority number by just over half or just under half. So that's a good effect that we're looking for. Okay, now, so that's the technique. Let's look at what we've done. Let's look what I've done for Pi Simple. So I've ranked all these already. So our top priority with a score of 80 is a security function. The app stops working because somebody's done something malicious. So total loss of service for somebody deletes the data, deletes the backups, probability occurring, there's no security in place at all on our Pi Simple application. So probability occurring, you stick it on the web is probably quite high. There are some automated backups, but you could maybe delete those as well. So effectiveness is five. So we get a whopping 80. Now we do have other things. What happens um, if we deploy the code and it's got a, a problem because we have limited manual uh, test cases and a manual deployment. So that's a 48. We've got our region outage, which is a 40 because we have a single region. Everything's in that single region. 
we have our application what happens if we have a bug in it well that's again a high value um, and then what happens if we need an AZ outage well we've already got multi AZ we've got redundant ECS and uh, ALBs so actually that scores quite low so here's a ranked set of things we need to do we still need to consider an AZ outage but in reality security is probably number one so how do we fix them so here's a set of uh, fixes so for the, we can simply add for security an authentication service now that will potentially reduce our RPN to 24 which is a significant saving um, but the effort and this is one thing to bear in mind the effort to do that to build and to integrate our auth process is quite high when we compare that and contrast that to our connectivity deploying a second region it's quite low it's going to give us uh, quite a good new rpm co-pipelines and application telemetry and infrastructure are all mediums um, and service mesh is quite high so it's always worth balancing risk versus reward versus cost of doing and so one of the things you'll see as we go through this we're going to start with the low hanging fruit so the connectivity pieces multi-regional applications so what does that look like from an application perspective so this is our application that we're building out so number one we need to add an authentication service number two we start thinking about a pipeline to do the testing and the automatic deployment we then start looking at how do we monitor and manage our multiple regions and deploying into multiple regions we look at app mesh which is a service mesh fabric along with tracing uh, we look at an analysis module to give us more detailed application events and analysis and then finally we'll look at splitting our cars and bookings into two separate discrete microservices now as i said we're going to focus more on the things that we can do initially quick wins low-hanging fruit whatever you want to call them um, but the rest of this section will then focus on doing these things and showing you how they're done.